popular comedian in hot water this morning, coming clean over a lie he's been telling for 14 years. Steve Ranazisi now admitting he lied about escaping the Twin Towers on 9-11, confessing he wasn't even downtown that day. ABC's David Wright is here with the story. David, good morning. Good morning, Lara. There have been a few 9-11 liars over the years, borrowing someone else's tragedy to give their own lives meaning or value. But this guy built a career in Hollywood, starting, ironically enough, with a job on the show Punked. Well, it turns out he punked everybody. Could you recommend a Doja? You've probably seen him on those ads for Buffalo Wild Wings. Hi, I'm Steve, and I've helped millions claim their fantasy football riches. Or starring in the FX sitcom The League. Let's get back to the draft order, please. His stand-up special is due to air on Comedy Central this weekend. Steve Ranazisi a comedian whose star has been rising ever since he lied about where exactly he was on September 11th, 2001. So you were aware, where were you when 9-11 happened? 54th floor of the so South Tower. So you were in tower. the second tower. Yeah. In 2009, he told Paulie Shore and friends he was working at Merrill Lynch when the first plane struck the North Tower. I walk outside, I see the fire and everything, and then I watch the second plane hit the second tower. The story even more vivid on Mark Marin's podcast. And then it just, shh, bang. While you were standing right there. Well, it was like underneath that giant overpass that was... Uh, and all your co-workers were upstairs? Yeah. A few small details have changed over the years. For instance, in one interview, he didn't see the second plane hit. He heard it. And then I heard the plane hit our tower. His route home changes, too. We had to walk across the Brooklyn Bridge back to Brooklyn, where we oh live. Oh, my God. Later, a different bridge. I walked across the Manhattan Bridge. But the essence of the story that he told as recently as a week ago was that the trauma of 9-11 convinced him to quit the financial industry and move to L.A. to get into show business. And it was all a lie. He never worked at Merrill Lynch, wasn't in Lower Manhattan on 9-11, in fact, Merrill Lynch didn't even have an office in the Twin Towers. When the New York Times confronted him, Renazisi came clean. I was not at the Trade Center that day, he said in a statement. I don't know why I said this. This was inexcusable. I am truly, truly sorry. Well, Buffalo Wild Wings and Comedy Central told us they're disappointed in him and are reevaluating their relationship, but they have yet to pull him off the air. FX is actually standing by him, saying they believe the apology was sincere. Mm. It's but he apologized yeah. after he got caught. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, after the story changed over and over. All right, David, right, we thank you.